Hi, everyone. It's Mike Teal here with Presentation Plus Ups, and I have a very, very interesting video for you and also an example of failing forward. So I recently had a big presentation with a group and I was using my green screen system. So you've, you've probably seen it. if you watched any of my videos, I promote the idea of mixing all of your content and by all of your content, I mean anything you're wanting to show using the free OBS studio to do that. And then you mix it to your program and then you screen share by using full screen projection to one of your extra screens. So in my case, I screen share a full screen projection to that fourth screen. And from the studio, I'm able to have amazing control and power of production to really be more effective in a live presentation scenario. So you're seeing a little example of that. Now, here was the challenge. I was doing this in Microsoft Teams and I had the green screen going. I was in a overall green screen composition like this. I thought it was hot stuff. I watched the recording in Teams and instead my video looked really, really choppy. Let me show you just how choppy it looked. What you're seeing right there hurt my heart. I mean, that is, that's choppy. Okay, we have people watching me. I'm in a green screen thinking I'm doing something amazing. Frame rate was terrible. All right. It boils down to frame rate. So this morning I spent a little bit of time trying to figure out how I could trick Microsoft Teams into giving me back that smooth frame rate I've had for about a year. But what I found out is that Microsoft Teams uses artificial intelligence to detect in real time whether or not you are screen sharing video content or you're screen sharing a slide. And something like this, where it's determining that, yeah, you're sharing a slide, it's going to kick the frame rate down to two frames per second which is great for readability and crystal clear legibility, but terrible if you're also in the image like I am right now, okay? So I'm actually gonna give you an example of that. So right now you can see I'm smooth and the secret sauce here, here's the spoiler alert in case you wanna leave, is that if you put an ambient background video behind you and set it to a loop, it will trick Microsoft's artificial intelligence into knowing and thinking that you're still playing a video, even if there's slide content up. So for example, right now I happen to have a slide in my composition and you're gonna see here it's going in, it's going out. It's having things happen. All right, everyone. So at this point, you can see we have a solid background on our green screen composition. And if you look at me very carefully in the video, you'll notice how I'm very choppy. I'm probably down more in that five, frames per second. The slide deck's a little rough. I went back to a fractal background here. Did a lot of movement with my hands to basically tell the artificial intelligence of Microsoft Teams that I'm back to a video. And so now when I kick it back ultimately to a composition, we're getting back to that, that smoother frame rate. And that's a good day. So hopefully you can see there's a good example of how this works. And how when you go through this process of adding an ambient background, it really is the secret sauce. Hi everyone, okay, so in this video, I let out the secret that if you play an ambient video, something with some motion in one of your background compositions, it will quote unquote trick, or probably a little more ethically, it will inform or help out Microsoft Teams and its artificial intelligence algorithm to let it know that you are trying to screen share some sort of video composition and it will keep the frame rates higher in that case. So here is an example is I happen to have through my organization that I work with, it's a GP strategies down there. We're a workforce transformation partner and we have a Getty Images account. So whether you use iStock, Getty Images, Unsplash, any of the variety of stock images, many of those also now have stock video. So in this case, what I did was I just went up here and I did a search for ambient background. Ambient background is what I looked for. And when I did that search, yeah, it came up with a variety of these ambient backgrounds. So my extra tip for you would be to find something that's not too crazy. I mean, this is kind of like Madonna ray of light type thing. You don't want to induce uh, a seizure in anyone. So I chose this kind of chill fractal background that you're seeing right here. 
But uh, yeah, so look for something with a little bit of motion, enough motion to tell Microsoft that, yeah, you're trying to play a video. Okay, so keep me smooth and you're in good shape. So incidentally, if you are just screen sharing your overall video like this, chances are pretty good it will keep it nice and smooth. But then you're going to ultimately, I assume, want to screen share something, whether it's you and video or slide or web or mix it up to keep it fresh. So that's my tip. That's my strategy is look for ambient background type videos and, and find a couple, download those, add those to OBS. It's super easy, easy peasy to do right here. So here's my picture in picture with slides. And here is the little video, uh, Fractal Background. I, I renamed it. Now, you can't see it over here until I bring it over, but trust me, it's there. So technically, this blue background is not even showing. So what I will do is switch it over right now, and you're going to see that the video is set, okay? So my tip, though, if I have you over here in OBS, and here's your Fractal Background, is right-click it. And so I am in my Sources menu. You want to right click it, go to properties and set it to loop. OK, if you set it to loop, it's going to just keep that loop going. It's going to keep Microsoft happy and keep yourself looking super smooth in your screen share. So hopefully those are a few tips for you. If you are indeed looking to plus up your screen share game, bring a little of that broadcast sauce to the table. And so you can see whether you're using a good old fashioned green screen, or in this case, seeing right here is a good old fashioned picture in picture composition. This is real stuff, not a green screen. So hopefully that's a couple tips and strategies for you. Some things that I've learned the hard way, wanna pass it on to you. So in the meantime, thanks so much and please make it a great day.